Hi friends, welcome back to my new video. Today we are going to discuss about a thermal power plant. Basically, the power plants are the uh, components which are used for generating an electricity. There are various types of power plants like a hydroelectric power plant, thermal power plant, nuclear power plant, gas turbine power plant and diesel power plant. Today we are going to discuss about a thermal power plant in which basically we are going to have a turbine generator. These are the devices. So let us see what is a thermal power plant. In the thermal power plant basically there are four to five main components. First component is the boiler. So this is the first component. Then next is the turbine. Then third one is the generator. Fourth one is the condenser and fifth one is the feed water pump. These are the major component in the thermal power plant. Okay. So by combination of all these we are going to generate an electricity. Okay. So let us see the function of each component. Here, what's meant by boiler? First of all, we will check it. Boiler is a device which will generate uh, pressurized steam. So, input for the boiler will be water, and output from the boiler will be water. Uh, output from the boiler will be a high pressurized steam. So, if we check out this particular boiler, in the boiler there are two connections basically for the water. So, this this particular connection is for uh, taking water inside. So, water will be going inside, and it will be flowing through the tubes as like this and then that will come outside from this particular pipeline okay so when the tube is uh, inside the tube we are having a water and it's flowing there will be a hot gases generated by this particular combustion chamber so in the boiler there is a combustion chamber in which the fuel will be burned the fuel may be a solid fuel liquid fuel or gaseous fuel in the solid fuel generally coal is used in the liquid fuel diesel petrol will be used whereas in the gaseous fuel LPG may be used. Currently in the figure whatever you are observing is the coal. So we are using the coal as a fuel and by using coal we are generating the heat. So here the device is called as coal hopper through which we are going to supply the coal. That coal will be go downside into the pulverizer. What happens in a pulverizer? In the pulverizer there will be a conversion of a solid coal into the powder form of the coal. So here the powder will be generated and that powder will be supplied further to the burner. So for burning of the coal what we required is the air or oxygen. So that air will be supplied through this one and that coal will be burned and will be generated high heat inside a boiler. Now as we have discussed inside the tube we are having a water and outside the tube we are having hot gases. So heat will be transferred from hot gases to the hot gases to the water and the water will get converted into the steam and that steam will be at very high pressure. So at the inlet of this particular we were having the water here and at the outlet we are present having what a steam. So steam will be present and that steam will be a very high pressurized steam. That steam will go to the turbine. Now what is turbine? Turbine is a device which will generate a mechanical energy as an output. There are various types of turbine available like a hydraulic turbine, gas turbine, steam turbine etc. These are the type depend upon what energy you are giving as an input. If you are giving input as a water then it's called as hydraulic turbine. If we are giving input as if you are giving input as a gas then it's called as gas turbine and if you are giving input as a steam then it is called as steam turbine. Currently we are giving steam as input and that's why this particular turbine is called as steam turbine which will generate mechanical energy. Now next component is a condenser. The condenser is a device which will convert a steam into the water. So their condensation process will be occurring. So here at the input there will be steam and output will be water. Then this is the feed water. Feed water pump has a function of taking water from one side and supplying water on a further side. So here we are discuss about major component that's boiler, turbine, condenser, feed water pump. Okay. So now we will discuss one by one how the mechanical energy generated and how the electrical energy will be generated. Okay. So as I told you in the boiler there will be water will be taken inside and steam will be present outside. That steam will go inside a turbine. Inside turbine what happened? Here if you check out 
this particular turbine inside turbine the steam will be coming from this side and inside turbine we are having a blades and that blade will be connected to one common shaft so that turbine, that steam will come from this and it will give impact on the blade so blade will start rotating as the blade start rotating the shaft start rotating as the shaft start rotating we will be having mechanical energy available here so at the output of the turbine what we are having is the mechanical energy now this mechanical energy is connected to generator the generator is a device which will take mechanical energy as an input and give output as an electrical energy so here we are showing that electrical energy will be available so mechanical energy is input and output is electrical energy now whatever steam used for generating and mechanical energy after giving impact its pressure will be less and that less pressure steam will further supply to the condenser in the condenser what we are doing in the condenser we are cooling that particular steam by using what a cold water which is coming from a cooling tower so steam will be coming from this one and that will be cold and after cooling we are having the water so at the inlet there is a steam and here what we are having is the water so for converting steam into water we are use the cooling tower from the cooling tower we will be supply the cold water from this side so here that will supply cold water cold water will be inside the pipeline which will used to cool the steam means heat will be flowing from steam to the water and that's effect of that the water will be get heated and we were having we will be having a hot water at the outlet so at the outlet from this particular condenser we will be getting hot water so that hot water will go to the cooling tower cooling tower cools it once again cold water will coming so this is complete cycle that water goes to the condenser it will be get heated water goes to the cooling tower it will be get cooled so this cycle will go on repeating okay now the steam which has gone to the condenser that will come outside as a water that water will be get sucked by the a uh, feed water pump and then that water will be supplied to a boiler so this is cycle gets completed that boiler supplies the steam to the turbine turbine supplies steam to the condenser condenser supplies water and that water will be taken by feed water pump and it is supplied to the boiler now sometime what happen the steam which is generated that steam will get leak means the amount of the steam will get reduced and that's why what happen we have to supply the makeup water makeup water means what if we are supplying here 100 kg of the steam that 100 kg may not be available here here it may be having something 98 kg so where 28 2 kg of the steam gone it's through the leakage in the turbine and various pipeline so we cannot supply 98 forward because if i supply 98 then next cycle this 98 will become 96 then 94 then 90 uh, like that so we have to supply 2 kg of the water through the water source so 2 kg will be used as a makeup water and finally we will be getting 100 kg of water as we are knowing for the further cycle okay so this is what a feed water or makeup water that we are supplying from this so this is a working of a thermal power plant in the thermal power plant we were having the aim of generating electrical energy and that electrical energy is available from the generator okay and further component like boiler turbine condenser and other component are used for generating mechanical energy that mechanical energy is given to generator and generator will generate the electrical energy so this is all about working of thermal power plant now let's see what are the advantages of thermal power plant the fuel cost in thermal power plant is relatively low so when we are saying an advantage it is compared to other type of the power plant like gas power plant or nuclear power plant or diesel power plant here the fuel required fuel cost will be less then heat produced by the system is simple compared to the other system so heat production is quite easy in this system overall system cost is less then same heat could be reused so the heat which we have used which we have we have used in the boiler that same heat can be used or remaining heat from the boiler can be used for some other purposes then easier maintenance that's another advantage use of water is prominent here so here we are using a cooling tower so use of water is a prominent here so here therefore any places with ample supply of water is a perfect location for installing a thermal power plant so if you are having water availability easily it can be established thermal power plant require a comparatively small small space so small space is the another 
advantages so we have seen an advantage as fuel cost is less the heat production is simpler then the overall system cost is less the heat which we are used in the boiler that can uh, remaining it can be used for some other purposes easier maintenance that we have seen it site selection is quite easy because if water is available then we can select that one and the sp uh, small space is required for this one so let's see the disadvantage of this one the major disadvantage of this system is environmental pollution as we are burning a coal it will generate high amount of carbon dioxide and that will create a big problem for the environment then low overall efficiency that's another disadvantage then thermal engines required huge amount of lubrication oil is very expensive so lubricating oil also required for the turbines the type of power station ultimately responsible for raising sea level so this also increases sea level it can cause acid rain and the coal dust may create again a problem so this is what disadvantages we have seen it now site selection of steam power plant or thermal power plant site selection means what if you have to establish a thermal power plant what are the point you will look first is the supply of fuel i will select a space or a place where we are having ample amount of fuel supply then availability of water so if our we are selecting some place there must be availability of water then there must be a transportation facility then the cost and type of land so where we are selecting a land that the cost should be less like we cannot select in bombay and bombay and uh, pune where the cost will be very very high so we have to choose a site where the cost will be less nearness to the load center load center should be nearer to that and distance from populated area so we should select a place where the distance from city should be less so these are site selection parameter means if you have to select an site then i am going to consider these are the points so today we have discussed about construction working advantages disadvantages and site selection of thermal power plant thank you very much for listening